Oh, because that's row two. Because we're not trying to film. Mm, and okay. not, it's not like we are going to like him or anything. It's no big deal. Well, I'm gonna call my I don't, don't want to be a YouTuber or anything. Yeah. Like, I, I have no dreams or goals. Or hey, you guys, what's up? It is That Canadian TV here. And if you're asking or wondering why I'm in this kind of position, it's because there's really no other way to sit on this thing. I am joined by my friend. Sorry. <laughs> at Brent Funkasaurus. That's <clears throat> the at sign B R E N T. F U N K S A S A R I S. <laughs> okay. Okay. So today for you, we have something actually kind of cool. At least I think it's cool. We are. We have some artists queued up that we are gonna. You can stop. So today we have artists queued up, and we're gonna discuss about them and share our opinions about them and their albums, their music. But we are not gonna play any of their music because I don't want this video to get cut. Here. I've got the Hot 100s list right here. So what we're gonna start with is Pitbull. <laughs> at Timber. So, okay. Pitbull also has Kesha featured on the song. Now, I'm going to start with Kesha because <clears throat> it's Kesha. Should we flash mob your room real quick? Yes. C. 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 Alright, wait. Did you too much? Yeah. That's Josh talking. <laughs> Kesha is great. I love her music, and she doesn't suck. Everyone thinks she's like, oh, but once you get to know her for real, like, she's actually really good artistic-wise. I definitely agree with you on that. The thing is, the media portrays her as um, an alcoholic drunk girl. But the thing is, one, I don't mind that. Two, I think she's really fun. Three, her songs are amazing. And also she had that whole rehab thing. And apparently she like, she's like a completely different person now. Like She, she dropped she, her dollar sign. Yeah, but you just heard that today. I know, that's what you told me. Yeah. Hashtag only. Hashtag we don't know. Can you play some background music? No! no. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna put that in. Oh, okay. If I want to, if it fits. If it fits, yeah. Um, uh, but Kesha, Kesha's amazing. I love Kesha. Pharrell? Yeah, and he's on the hot charts with Happy. I don't like Happy anymore. At first, I thought it was cool, but they overplayed it too much. I mean, Pharrell's really talented. He has a good voice. You know how old he is? I don't know how old he is. <laughs> he's pretty old. I mean, in 2000, you know, in 2001, he did Boys, like the co ed remix of Britney Spears. Yeah, the co ed remix of Boys. Have you ever heard of it? No. Um, Let me find it. But you guys, the song Happy. I cannot tell you how much I despise that song. It is the worst song I've ever heard in my life. I hate it. I cannot stand it. And it is the worst thing ever. I do not like it. And, uh, being happy, yes, that's fine, yes, but that song is horrible. Pharrell, I love you. You're, you're, you're a cool guy. Your, your album, Girl, I think, is what it's called, or GR album. It's Girl. That, girl, yeah. It's, it's really good. I like it. It's just the song Happy is horrible. It makes it, it me does, unhappy. Yeah, it makes me want to punch myself. Hashtag selfie by the Chainsmokers. Yes, that song is amazing. It is, a, it is a fun thing. I love the song. It's really fun to mess around with, and selfies are great. I, I am such a big supporter of selfies. They are self-confidence promoters, and people that say selfies are like stupid or like dumb or whatever, don't see them. They're, they're stupid. They are stupid. They are dumb. The selfies are amazing. They they, they help you rare... Or, or well, if I take do. good selfies, it's fine, but I'm kind of over the selfie song. At first I thought it was cool, but after a while it got too much, and now it's just like whenever it comes on, I'm just like, but there's, you can shut the up. You can say I'll just censor it. Okay. Um, like, it, it was all, it was all, but there's, let me take a selfie. It's like, but there's, you can shut the fuck up. Lord? Which song? Royals and teams also are okay. there. Lord, you are a goddess. I bought your album. You are amazing. Yeah, Royals is wonderful. I listen to that on repeat during school all I the like time. I like Royals, yeah. and but I like Team. That's my favorite song. Team is really good, but my favorite has to be 400 Lux because it's a song about she. She says, "And I like you a lot" in that song in the chorus, and it is gorgeous. It, it's a really, it's a really good song. I told them. And I also like, I like Team the most because 
It's just got a really good melody, and it, the beats in the beginning is I know. amazing. It's sick. And it's very artistically written, perfect. And I like songs like that. Yeah. I don't like stupid. Yeah. I don't like stupid. Oh, we're in the club. Fuck me. Yeah. Woo. Go. Go sex. It's like no. This is a really personal, uh, good song. So the last song is Guy by Lady Gaga. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I wanted to save the best for last. So. Eric, take it away. You go first. Oh, all right. Yes. Okay, Gaga. The single GUI guy. It's wonderful. It is beautiful in a sexual way. <laughs> like this is a very sexual. She, yeah. You can be taken like seriously sexual. Like you're a serious sexual. That's how, that's what I'm, that's the term I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure any, any little monster knows what I mean by this. GUI is a good choice for a single. It's really good. However, I do have something to say about applause. It is by far your, the worst single I have heard from your album, which is, which is, it, I, I like it, I do like it, but it is by far your worst single, and I, I just like it a lot. I don't, I don't mean worse as in like it didn't top the charts, because it, it did. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> uh, it, it did top the charts, it's just, in my opinion, I, I didn't like it at all, because it wasn't the EDM I was looking for, and it, it just wasn't what I was looking for. But but pretty much every other song on there, even Dope a little bit, has that EDM in it. Even though Dope is pretty much a ballad. But my favorite song would have to be Gypsy. It is a beautiful song. I listen to that repeat all the time. It's the, the when the... the... The final beat part where yeah. it's like, um... I'm trying to think of it, um... Baby for Life. Baby, yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. That's yeah. really, it's really it's, good. It's the best part. And when I'm really sad and I feel like I need to just listen to really emotional music, I listen to that song, and then it makes me happy by the end of the song. And I feel like it's good to have an artist to fall back on when you're. When yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that last night, didn't we? Yeah, I texted him last night and I was talking to him about songs for the video idea and. And it's I think of the songs that I listen to a lot, and they make me happy. And so I basically want you to know if there's a, like artists you like, really get into it. Like yeah. if there's so, like listen to their other songs that aren't just their singles, and then get to know on an artistic level, and then maybe they could be like like uh, something you could fall back on when you have no one. Yeah. Um. Best friends are obviously another option that you have, but the thing is, they, they won't always be there. So, but, however, an artist will always be there. Their music will always be there. They will always be in your heart. They will be there and physically, but, like, the artist... They'll be there in your heart. They, yeah. They, they are speaking to you. It's just, you, you just gotta feel it. You gotta find that emotion in the song, the thing that makes you think it's beautiful. <laughs> That's why you edit half the stuff out.